morning guys welcome back to a new vlog so today is monday and i'm having a, a slow start today we had a lot of fun this weekend i hung out with my friends this weekend and yesterday me and anto went to georgetown and enjoyed some food by the water it was so beautiful yesterday it was like 80 degrees but today it is back down to 50 and it's pretty, I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's pretty gloomy. So anyway, yeah, I have a few things I want to do today. I really want to get a car wash, even though it's um pretty gloomy. I checked the weather, it's not going to rain. But I really want to clean my car today and restock and organize it. And I thought it'd be perfect for the vlog because we love organizing on this channel. I have a lot of like boring admin stuff to do today. I have a lot of contracts and emails I need to read through. And I have a, two videos I need to edit. So I'm really trying to get a lot of content up before April ends and just kind of go into May, you know, with a lot of videos because May is really busy. I think I've mentioned this, but we have pretty much an event going on every weekend. We have, um, or I have my girlfriend's uh, birthday next weekend. And then the weekend after that, we have a wedding. The weekend after that, we have a baby shower. And the weekend after that, it's my mom's birthday and Memorial Day weekend. May is going to be really busy. I'm still going to try to get like content up and do my regular weekly vlogs and all that but i feel like i'm not going to be able to be as consistent as i have been now i feel like i've been really consistent especially in march and april but may's busy can i like set you guys down because my arm hurts okay so i'm just gonna finish answering emails please don't fall please don't fall my camera is currently balanced on my freaking paper towel roll. okay i think we're good so i'm gonna finish answering emails and then i need to make some breakfast i'm actually really hungry but um, I like have this thing where when I'm in the middle of something, no matter how starving I am, no matter how bad I have to go to the bathroom, I can't move from my spot until it's finished. So I'm like on a roll right now. I'm making an omelet for breakfast. That's been pretty much my go-to every morning now because in the morning I usually work out and I've been wanting to like get more protein in. So I've been making like a turkey bacon egg omelet every morning, it's so delicious. And every time I show myself cooking, I always get a lot of comments from you guys asking what cookware I use. But I wanted to share my go-to cooking brand. I've mentioned them quite a few times before on the channel, but in case you're new or if you missed that, I wanted to share with you guys. So I get all of my cookware from Our Place, that's the name of the brand, and they are also the sponsor of today's video, so thank you so much. They are very sustainable with their cookware and also their company mission which is why i really like them they use recycled and sustainable materials and i mentioned a few times in the past few vlogs that i'm really trying to do better at maintaining a sustainable lifestyle and all of their packaging is also biodegradable the company is also immigrant and woman owned and i absolutely love that and they're really rooted in representation so i really love the company's missions and what they represent and all of that is just a bonus they have really amazing cookware that make cooking so easy so clean and just really like enjoyable because i cook a lot so i want the process to be easy and not hectic and like i don't want to have to scrub pans and all that so all of their pans are non-stick and here are the two cookwares from our place so this is the always pan i pretty much cook everything like literally everything with this pan and then this here is the perfect pot so quick summary of the always pan this will replace your fry pan your saute pan a steamer skillet your saucepan literally everything you need in a pan you can sear steam strain saute fry and boil you can even like serve your food in it it's just so versatile so this came with a steamer basket so i like to steam my veggies in this sometimes i also even just use it as a strainer it has little like candles here so yeah this is what i use to like steam my veggies and other foods and like i said along with the pot this one is also very lightweight so i've used so many pots and pans that are just so heavy and literally i'm so close to dropping all my food but this is really lightweight but it's also still really sturdy with an aluminum body i also like how it has the pour spout the pot also has that spout so if i need to like drain liquid or water it makes it super easy and it also came with the spatula which i absolutely love i use this for pretty much everything also and it has a spoon rest on the handle so while you're cooking you can just rest it right here right over there like that and a closer look at the perfect pot this basically replaces your dutch oven your sauce pot steamer also it came with this nesting roasting rack 
So yeah, it came with that as well. And this also came with a spoon. You can also rest it on the handle right here. So that's why I really like these cookwares because you can use them for literally everything. And also they just look so cute. So aesthetically pleasing. And the color of these two are both the steam color. I also have the always pan and the char color. It's kind of like a charcoal color. So yeah, I have two of them because that's how much I love this pan. So yeah, this is the Home Cook Duo and they're both so multifunctional, very lightweight. They've replaced up to 16 pots and pans. Basically it's a full kitchen replacement. And I think one of my most favorite things about it is that it's also very safe cookware and it's tested to be safe for you and for the people you cook for. It's made without like the toxic metals and things that could potentially be harmful. I also got some dishware from our place. They're having a spring sale. And I got this set of four of drinking glasses. These are normally 50 and they're $40 now with the sale. I just love how they look. I think they're so like vintage looking and I love the color and the shape of it. I feel like that's what really sold me. They're a really good size too. So like you take my water out of here and stuff. And then I also got this set of four tiny bowls, which are the cutest thing. And I love the design and the color. Bowls are originally $35. They're on sale now for $28. I can use them when I do like my food prep, when I'm like chopping up and dicing up my veggies. I can, you know, keep them in here. I can use these for dips or for my charcuterie board. The bowls I got are in the color steam and the cups. I have them in the color dusk, but they have so many different colors. So I will link the perfect pot and the always pan in my description. Definitely go check it out. So now I'm gonna cook my omelet. I'm gonna use the always pan for that. Here's the omelet, yum yum. I usually add turkey bacon, today I didn't. I just did spinach, red pepper, and red onion. And then I used two eggs and I seasoned the eggs with salt, pepper, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder with eggs, guys, is very, underrated you must try it i have a medium cold brew medium cold brew and how do you like can i get um almond milk and sweet and low thanks thank you i went to duncan today wanted to change things up duncan reminds me of college because when i was in college we didn't have starbucks i mean we did but like there was just like ten thousand duncans everywhere so duncan was like my spot like that i would get that I would go to before class, before finals, before study sessions. My order is a medium cold brew, almond milk, sweet and low, so good. Okay, I'm on my way to get a car wash now. The sun came out, which is great. So that means it probably won't rain. My sweatshirt, in case you guys are wondering, is from H&M. And I actually have a huge H&M haul. And I'll show you guys when I get home, I'll do a little try on. Okay, car is clean, smelling fresh. I got the inside cleaned as well. I just realized when they brought my car out after they finished cleaning it, there's so many scratches on my car. And I know it's from the garage at my apartment because people do not know how to drive, let alone park in my garage where I live. So I'm sure people are like just slamming their doors and scratching their doors on my car. There's so many scratches, but I think th those are the ones that you can like buff off. It's like the black scratches that, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can buff off. So I'm on my way to Target now to get some stuff to restock and organize my car with. I wanna get like tissues, like Clorox wipes, like basic stuff like that just to keep in my car. Chugged my coffee while I was in there and now I have so much energy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I did not realize it was gonna get this hot outside. I am burning. It was literally 50 degrees. It's like that time of the year when it's super chilly in the morning and then it gets blazing hot by the afternoon so okay i'm gonna show you guys what i picked up from target i got groceries and like eggs and boring stuff but i did get some stuff like for the car i wanted to put together like a little makeup bag not with makeup but like with necessities like um well i'll just show you because i got them but yeah so i got this makeup case this cosmetic case and it's just like a plain black nylon one it's from the sonia kashuk line it was like i think like eight bucks and then i wanted to have some wipes in the car just so I can wipe stuff down. So I got these Everspring 
multi-surface -sur cleaning wipes. This is lemon mint. And then I also got these glass cleaner wipes to clean my windows if needed. And then I need tissues in the car. I'm always looking for tissues or napkins when I'm in my car, especially when I get coffee and I spill my coffee. So this can act as napkins, but also tissues for when I need it. And then I got some car scents. These are the Febreze car. I guess that's just what it's called. It's the little things that you put into your air vents and it blows out and the and the scent comes out this is watermelon scent they had no other scents I do have one right now in my car that's been here for probably oh my god like a year it lost its smell but this is the clean linen one which is my favorite scent but they don't have it I couldn't find it and then I got it to go Lysol because you never know I might need to disinfect the seats or something and then I also got a fabric Febreze to go in case I don't know I eat french fries in the car you know that smell sticks so I got it to like spray the car make it smell nice and I also got a travel lint roller I am always going places like going out to dinner or something and I notice I look down at my pants and there's lint all over and that's like embarrassing to me I hate having lint on my pants especially if it's like black pants so that is a necessity for me and then I thought this was cute it's a cute little native deodorant bar it's so tiny and I know this will probably melt in the car during the summertime, so I'll probably take it out when it gets really, really hot. But, um, yeah, you never know when you're, like, literally right now, my pits are sweating. So, TMI, sorry, but I could probably use that right now. Got a little tiny hand cream, which I am actually going to use right now because I desperately need it. But I always sanitize my hands in the car. I have a sanitizer in my cup holder. So, every time I hop into the car, first thing I do is sanitize and then that dries my hands out, so, you know. Ooh, that one's really soft. This brand is, what is this brand? It's the Beloved, Love, Beauty, and Planet, and it's Cherry Blossom and Tea Rose. Oh my gosh, no wonder it smells so good. I love Cherry Blossom. So yeah, I got that. And then I also got a Tide to Go pen for obvious reasons. I'm always spilling on myself, especially when I go out to eat, so that's a necessity. And then I also got these cute, scrunchies from the Kristen S line comes with three velvet skinnies I might just like bring these inside I don't think I'll keep these in the car but I did get a pack of the like normal no damage scrunchies I ran out I needed more but also I'll keep some in the car because I'm always wanting to put my hair up and I never have a hair tie so that's yeah that's all that I got for the car so I do have more stuff at home that I want to bring in the car so I'm gonna go home now and gather all the stuff that I want to put in the car and then I'll film myself like organizing the car because I have a trunk organizer in the back that really needs reorganizing there's just random stuff in there that I don't use I want to bring like a blanket in the car um, even though it's gonna be summertime you never know maybe I'll drive somewhere up north that's really cool <laughs> I'm the type of person that like I'd rather be safe than sorry if you guys saw my packing video, if you guys see any of my packing videos, you know I'm extra and like a lot of this stuff is unnecessary, but I am such an anxious person in general that I, I want to be safe, rather safe than sorry. Okay, so I filled up the little cosmetic bag with everything, so I also added some pads and tampons because that is definitely an emergency item that you should carry what else did i add oh i also added one of my little scent bird perfumes i'm always needing like some type of body spray or perfume when i'm in the car just so i can like smell good wherever i go i also put a pen in here oh and then i also added a chapstick this is an eos chapstick and then my lip oil from amazon i'm literally so obsessed with this stuff came in a pack of three four i think what was it four dollars so i have three of them so i'll keep one in my car oh and also some travel sized advil and a few of these individual makeup remover wipes just in case oh so my lysol wipes that i had that were travel sized um those were all dried up so i need to just put a normal sized one i think i'll just bring these antibacterial wipes because i feel like they'll be pretty compact to fit in my car and the reason I like to keep antibacterial wipes in my car is because every now and then I like to disinfect my wheel, my steering wheel, um, and like just my surroundings. Thank you. 
Okay, I just finished organizing my car. Here's my little trunk organizer. I got this on Amazon. This is a nice little handy thing. You can like attach it to your car so it doesn't like slide around everywhere. But in here I have a blanket. I have those wipes, antibacterial wipes, the glass cleaner. I have a first aid kit that I got from Amazon. And then I just have three water bottles just in case. And then in this pocket, I have some extra masks. And then on this side, in this pocket, I don't know if you can see because it's really bright, but I have the travel tissues. And then on the other side here, I have a microfiber cloth in case I need to clean anything. And then this little basket, I have the extra hoodie leggings. And then I have a pair of like sandals just in case. And then over here I have all of my shopping bags and then I have an umbrella. And that's all that's in my trunk. I try not to make it all cluttered and then of course my cart has to stay back there. That's what I use when I get groceries and I need to bring all the groceries into my apartment. And then the back side, I don't really keep anything back here. I, like I said, I try not to keep it too like cluttered, but I do have these hooks that are really convenient for shopping bags or for my purse. I like to hang my purse on here so I can uh, easily grab if I need to and then in the front on each side of my door I just keep hand sanitizer um, So I have one here. I have actually two hand sanitizers and then on the other side I do have another hand sanitizer. I also have a lotion and then here is where I put a lot of things as well so this is the top layer of my um, what do you call it of my compartment in the middle I just have extra glasses um, USB cord, hand sanitizer, pen, a tampon, uh, just, you know, chapstick, things I'd like need. And then I also have like a couple of masks, things that I just like need really quick. And then on the bottom layer, I have that cosmetic bag with all of those things that I got today. I put the, um, hand sanitizer and Lysol spray out here in the corner for easy access. And then I have a couple of, um, so yeah, I totally forgot that I have these Clorox wipes already. These were already in my car. So I totally forgot, but um, yeah, I have that and then I have these multi-purpose wipes, again for easy access if I need to clean anything up really quickly. I should probably put a tissue, oh wait, there's a tissue in here, yeah, in case I spill anything while I'm driving. So okay, that's really all honestly, and then I put the um, the two little Febreze scents here. They actually don't smell bad, they smell pretty good. But I always ask what tripod I use for my camera when I vlog in the car, that's it, it's from Amazon, like $6. Oh, an update on the um, scuffs. On the car I actually got it out I'm so happy I use that microfiber cloth and I actually just use my like all-purpose cleaning spray like I didn't even use a car wax I don't know if it's okay to use all-purpose spray I'm sure it is because it's for all purposes I got a couple packages in the mail and I'm just opening now first one is from Bath and Body Works as you can tell they had 40% off the entire site on Easter so I just restocked on a bunch of wallflowers. I got like 20 wallflowers, like literally all wallflowers. But I did get a candle, warm ocean breeze. Mmm, mm. smells good. And it looks pretty. Oh, bliss. Ooh, that's cute. It is their SPF. Oh, perfect, just in time for summer. And it comes with a little hat, SPF always. Oh, that is so cute. Ah, I love baseball caps. Um, so here is their mineral daily sunscreen. No breakouts and no white cast. It's at Target, Ulta, Amazon, and Walmart. Cost $22. That's fun. Thanks, Bliss. I also picked up some stuff from H&M. I'll do a little haul. So the first thing is the t-shirt I'm wearing. It's super big and oversized. Like it's so big. This is a size X large. I got it because I wanted to size up, but it's already so oversized. I could have gotten, I should have gotten a large, um, but I like it. I feel like it's comfortable and it's cute. I like it. It's the Nirvana shirt and the back has like all the tour dates. So I thought that was cute, vintage. And then I also got another one of the t-shirts in like a different color and style. This one just says long beach. It's like a beige ivory color. Again, this is so big. I got an XL too, but it's fine. I like the oversized fit. And then I got this jean jacket and this is an oversized fit too. I was just in the market for another kind of everyday essential denim jacket. This one is stretchy, which I'm not sure if I like because I like the denim jackets that are like pure jean denim and that don't have stretch like the pure cotton one. But I mean, this is so cute too. I like the wash of it and I like how like big it is. And I feel like this would be cute in the spring and in the summer over like dresses or over, I don't know, pretty much anything. So 
I got that, and this is a size um, large. Okay, and then I got this hat. I really am into trucker hats right now. I like the Kelly green color of it. That size medium slash large because I have a big head. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. And then I also got these pants, which I've tried these on already, and I'm gonna have to exchange them for a smaller size because they're really big. This is X large. I didn't know they were gonna already be oversized because I'm usually size large in bottoms, like size eight. And then I usually will like size up to like X large for an oversized baggy fit because that's what I was going for. But these are too big on me. So um, they literally don't even like stay up my waist. They literally just slide all the way down. And with H&M's clothing, sometimes they annoy me because the sizing is like all over the place. Usually with pants, I have bad experiences like with their jeans and just any of their bottoms, they always just fit me so wrong. So I was nervous about buying these pants because I was like, oh, these are gonna probably be too small, but they ended up being so big on me. But they're cute, I really like the color and I like the cargo pants look. And they don't have stretch, but there is stretch in the band behind it. And yeah, I just love this color for spring. So I'm gonna go and exchange it Probably too, honestly, I could go, even go down to size medium because that's how large they are in me. So, um, yeah, but I still love that color. I'm trying to wear more color in the spring. And then last thing I got is a, like, little straw tote bag. And I thought this would be so cute for the beach or for the pool. And they have a lot of these type of straw bags on their website. But I love the color of this one. And it's a pretty good size. For, like, picnics, I feel like that would be so cute too. Yeah, so that's all I got from H&M. I'm gonna have to go there maybe tomorrow and um, exchange the pants. And then the other thing I got was the sweatshirt I was wearing today, the UCLA Bruins like rainbow printed sweatshirt. So I'll link everything in my description if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, hi guys, I took a nap, I just woke up and um, I'm gonna make some dinner now. I'm gonna make this creamy chicken pasta recipe that I saw on TikTok. I'll link the video in my description. You guys can follow along. I've never made it before, but I saw it yesterday and it looked really good and I had all the ingredients. So I wanted to try it out and make it. And I'm gonna be using the Barilla Protein Plus Penne, which I got a few days ago. It has 10 grams of protein, which is pretty good. Now, for the taste test. Hot. Mm. so good. Mm. And so the sauce for this, well I guess, I don't know if it's really sauce, but it was light cream cheese, so it's somewhat healthy and a little bit of Parmesan, sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, and that's it, and the protein pasta. So this is a really good, healthy, healthier choice of a pasta. Hi guys, it is later at night. Sorry I didn't vlog much today. It was just one of those days where I was just so, I felt so fatigued, and I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night or at, like, this weekend at all. Um, so, yeah, after dinner, I pretty much laid, or I cleaned the kitchen, then I laid on the couch. For good like two hours i was online shopping i was shopping at abercrombie they're having 50 percent off sale um and i did a little bit more amazon shopping and now i'm getting ready for bed so yeah i'm gonna end today's vlog here don't forget to check out my description for the our place pot and pan perfect pot and always pan i hope you guys enjoyed this one thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs>